welcome back to the show with the ins and outs of glaucoma. With me now, Tony Bland. Welcome, Tony. Go ahead. Hey, Danny. I'm good. Um, what is a glaucoma? Well, I thought to talk to you about glaucoma today is a really interesting eye condition where the, there's a fluid flow through the eye, and sometimes yeah. that gets disrupted and can cause damage to the nerve at the back of the eye. And as a result of that, you start to lose um, parts of your peripheral vision. And um, what happens is there's a gland in your eye behind the iris um, that produces fluid that's natural in terms of uh, 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 there in terms of nourishing your eye and and um, so kind of flushing your eye if you like. And sometimes what happens is that fluid flow gets gets disrupted. And when you look in the back of the eye uh, at the retina, you see uh, the optic nerve and the retina and the macula and the blood vessels. And the optic nerve normally just appears as a flat white disc. And what happens if the fluid pressure in the eye is disrupted or increases, it actually um, causes the nerve to get kind of cupped out or excavated out, if you like. And you see this kind of lighter area appear in the middle. And when that occurs, you start to um, get gaps in your peripheral vision. And it's a really subtle eye condition where typically, to begin with, you just lose really tiny little holes around the edges of your vision. Okay. And so the problem with that is quite a few of those holes can actually occur and appear in your vision without you actually knowing. And um, it mm. can be, have no symptoms at all. Well, are there different types of glaucoma? Yeah, there are two main ones. One, um, the more common type is it's really subtle, where it's really subtle. So these changes just occur gradually without you noticing and without having any symptoms. So um, people can often lose significant parts of their vision without noticing. And there's a much rarer, um, what we call an acute type, where the pressure rises in the eye quite rapidly and people can lose their vision over a much shorter period of time, like in a matter of hours sometimes. But that doesn't occur very often. It's quite a rare condition. It sounds uh, really scary, the second one there. Yes, yeah. So it doesn't occur too frequently, but that's something we're keeping watch out for as well. Okay. Um, what sort of age groups does this normally affect? Like most um, eye conditions, it affects people as they get older. Um, the incidence, though, the difference with glaucoma is it can affect people pretty much at any age. Um, so the incidence at about age 40 is about 1% of the population. Okay. But by the time you get to 80, it can be more like about 10% of the population. So definitely something that occurs more commonly with age. And so we're paying attention to that. And if people have a strong family history as well. So like many medical things, and particularly eye things, you know, if there's a family history of some eye conditions, then that's something that's going to possibly occur you know, more frequently also. Okay. Um, is there a cure to glaucoma? Not really. Um, the main treatments for glaucoma revolve around trying to control the eye pressure and stop its progression. Right. So once the damage has occurred to the retina and to the nerve, that's not usually reversible. So the main treatments revolve around trying to stop it progressing further. So what, this, what the eye specialists, the surgeons do is um, patients often have eye drops to decrease the eye pressure and occasionally surgery is required where they uh, use occasionally a laser and also actually make a little drain in the eye to again relieve the eye pressure to stop the damage progressing. Okay, so early detection is the best prevention, yeah. Yep. So when people have an eye exam, um, the optometrists basically do three things. We carefully measure the eye pressure, and then we also look at uh, the appearance of the optic nerve, and we also have some um, visual, f visual field um, devices to screen the peripheral vision and see if there's any changes occurring there. And so the idea is we can catch it at an early stage and do something about it if necessary. Okay, because it's called the silent thief of sight because you can't actually detect it really yourself. No. The main thing about glaucoma is that if it's affecting your vision, then it's already pretty severe. And so the idea is you could imagine if you've got tiny little gaps in your vision around the edges, yep. those can exist without you noticing. And um, often people um, you know, can, can have significant losses of their peripheral vision before they actually notice any effects occurring. And again, there's no symptoms, no discomfort, no pain, you know, in most cases. Okay, um, so what is it like living with glaucoma? People manage fine. Um, very, because of the treatments and the early detection nowadays, very few people actually end up being blind from glaucoma. So they can have significant um, gaps in the visual field, but the treatments nowadays mean that a, a vast majority don't necessarily keep on progressing, but naturally some do. Um, and 
So they, they make adaptions to their lifestyle. You know, if the losses in your peripheral vision are severe, for example, some people have to give up driving and things like that, but it doesn't usually stop your um, day-to-day activities too significantly. Uh, and often people, if they're using drops, um, you know, they take drops daily pretty much for the rest of their lives. OK, and this all helps with dealing with glaucoma? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And the idea is to try and, again, stop the progression and, and the changes that can occur. OK, will you be wearing glasses or anything like no, glasses yeah. usually are a separate issue to that. So it's not something that... The glasses usually are used to help focus the centre part of your vision. Yeah. Um, for example, when you're reading and looking at eye chart, you're only using a tiny part in the centre, which is the macula. Okay. Um, and so the glasses don't necessarily affect how your peripheral vision uh, is working clarity-wise. OK. Um, if there are older people out there who just feel that their eyesight is getting worse because of their age and they do nothing about it apart from buy second-hand glasses or just put any glasses on because they feel like it's natural, yep. what advice would you give to them? Basically, just again, we won't regular, recommend having a regular check. You know, the main aim isn't to give people glasses necessarily. If they're managing fine, we leave yep. things as they are. But we want to detect those eye conditions early and also make sure that we're um, educating them on which eye conditions they have. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Tony, for coming in today. Great. You're welcome.